Hey, it's Papa Ridge. Today we're making a trellis made from a cattle panel. So I found out the, the spacing is about five feet across. If you want a cattle panel, that's about six and a half feet tall. So the cattle panel has been pretty well. So this is how we put it in an eight foot bed truck. So if you're doing this by yourself, it's really important that you start on this side of the cattle panel and I'm going to drive it. So I'm right along this beam and this one here. So my first one would be driven right there. So you want to at least drive this down about a foot deep. Okay, so you're gonna need some tie wraps and the easy way to do this and keep it from shifting is put the tie wrap around the bottom and put it loosely so it won't move. Okay, we're almost there. Before you tie the bottom, make sure you get this arch height the same as the others and use tie wraps. So it's probably overkill, but I start at the bottom and I skip every one till the top and I do two. Do that on every post. Okay, so last tip, take in, you want to use like a razor or something and cut flush right here because you don't want a little sticky part to come out and be able to cut you. So anything I want to put on the trellis, it's probably sprawled out running on the ground and then I start training it up the trellis. So I get the bottom, I pull it in. I click in the first part, I want it running along this part, and then I move up after that. Just being gentle as you go along. So I like to use these plastic clips. They make it really easy to train it on. They just click in like that. You keep going until you get it up at the top. Okay, so now we have two trained up. They're gonna keep running up there. So people ask me all the time about what is this piece is it structural? Well, not really. This is another piece of a cattle panel that I cut the bottom off of. And actually what it does is I worry about people running up and down like my grandsons run up and down this tunnel. So this protects the root. So when this is growing, that way you're not gonna step on them and snap these. So another way we can use the cattle panels is if you take the 16 foot, cut it in half, you have two 8 foot lengths. And we bring it up to this uh, peak, we use tie wraps to tie it together, 
and how I expand them apart is I take and cut a piece of wood I make a little notch in the end and then that fits right in it pushes it out and then locks in place so this is about four feet wide the other cattle panels are, are five feet wide these are about four feet wide and it makes about a eight foot peak so I like how we grow the uh, cherry tomatoes on this one So about $50 worth of material and look how nice this looks makes a perfect arch perfect trellis lots of room how can you beat this have a good day hey if you like the video check out some of these